Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today we're going to take a look at solving the constant problem of not having enough USB ports on your portable devices. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at the problem of not having enough USB ports on our portable devices. Now, this includes devices like Mac Pros, iPads, Chromebooks, Surface Pros, all those kinds of things. So if you're either a technician or you've got one of these and you're out and about trying to do things or you're just trying to get your work in life done, then this can be a problem. Plug it in something like a USB flash drive, a backup storage device, or God forbid, a USB mouse, that leaves your ports completely taken up. So you've got no other option than to unplug something to plug something back in, which isn't ideal. So pick this up from Amazon. This is Alzum. This is their three port USB device and ethernet device. So this has got three USB super speed ports, USB three, and also a gigabit ethernet, which is also backwards compatible with 10100 networks, all that kind of stuff. So again, if you're using this, if you're a technician, for instance, and you're going around to people's places, seeing if their internet's working, you can plug this in, see if it's their NIC which is damaged or whatever it may be. So this can be used as a testing device and also as a handy device. So say, for instance, you've gone to an office and there's no Wi-Fi where you're working, then you can use an ethernet cable and plug in to a device which would otherwise not have any connectivity. So let's take it out of the box, see what we get, and plug it in and see if it's actually any good. So this is pretty basic packaging. To be honest with you, I'm not expecting a great deal. This is only about £6.90 on Amazon at the moment, Amazon Prime, so you get free next day shipping, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to pick up one of these, I will leave links in the description below. They are affiliate links, so we do get a small kickback, but it would be a very small kickback because this is only £7 to start with, so uh, not exactly a wallet buster. But anyway, so let's see what we get. So there's not a great deal in here as such. So we've got the actual device itself, which is actually quite nicely uh, presented. So you've got your three super speed ports there on the top. You've got a, I would say that's probably about a, a one foot extension cable. It's actually quite a thick, sturdy cable as well. And the molded plug on the end seems very sturdy indeed, actually, that's quite a thick plug. The ethernet port is on the end here. So again, that's gigabit ethernet or backwards compatible with uh, 10100. And likewise for the USB ports themselves, these are a super speed USB 3, but also backwards compatible with USB 2 and USB 1 devices. So also in the packaging, we get a uh, thank you from Alzum. I think it's called Alzum. I'm hoping I'm right. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments section below. But you get a little thank you card and there's uh, details on there. So if you want to contact them or if you've got any issues or problems, then you can get in touch with them and get your issues resolved. There's also a little driver, a mini CD. So say for instance, you're using an older device, maybe Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, that sort of thing. If the drivers aren't built into the operating system straight away, then you can use that as a device driver to install the network adapter. Um, it's possibly also for Macs, potentially. I'm not entirely sure. Don't think I'll ever use that, but it's nice to see it in there anyway. And also there is a small installation guide which goes back to telling you how to set up your network, driver installation, all that kind of stuff, and talks to you about the schematic diagram. There is actually two versions of this. There is the AX-U3HU021 and the U031. Um, I honestly can't see a great deal of difference between the two. There doesn't seem to be any obvious difference apart from the actual design of it itself. Um, they both got RJ45, they both got three USB 3.0s, and they look to both have the same length of cable. So if either one's available, go for whichever one's cheaper, I would say. Um, it says here, no driver is needed for the USB 3 hub. The driver is only for the gigabit ethernet adapter. It doesn't say which operating system you'd need it for, but it is showing a picture of Windows XP. So I would assume Windows 7 or above, you're gonna be absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Where's my USB port, my single solitary USB port. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what we get. So, yep, yeah, it's gone straight in, no problems at all. So, first things first, let's plug in our Ethernet cable. So, again, really simple, just take your normal Ethernet cable and plug it straight in. Now, there isn't any identification lights on this at all, so that is one thing that goes against it. I would have loved to have seen um, connectivity lights on there or activity lights. That would have been uh, a very good addition. Maybe that is on the other model. That is something I'll have to look into. 
But let's have a look. So we are showing that we have got a connection now. I'll turn off my Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi has actually been horrendous. So if you've uh, if you've watched any of our live streams, you'll know some of the struggles I have with the internet on this device whilst I'm doing the live streams. But it says here, it's listed in the uh, connection as a Nova underscore 89F0. And it says it's connected. So we'll run a quick speed test and see how that goes. So we're running a speed test at the moment. So we're pulling down at the moment in the region of about uh, 40 megabits per second, which isn't great. We should be getting more than that really, but uh, I'm having some issues with our internet provider at the moment. So uh, currently our upload speed is around about 10 megabits per second, which is what I would expect to see on my service. So absolutely fine, no problems whatsoever there. And it's come up saying my internet speed is fast and I've latency of 14 milliseconds, which is absolutely fine. Now, when I tried to run this earlier with my Wi-Fi connection, it was getting to the point where it was actually timing out and not able to run this test. So uh, for me personally, this is fantastic. It means I don't have to worry about the Wi-Fi reaching me or the issues that I'm currently having with the Wi-Fi adapter and Windows 10, which I'm looking to resolve. But again, that's another story. But essentially, this is gonna help me out massively also when doing live streams, when you just gotta have that good internet connection, plugging into this is gonna be absolutely fine. So let's plug in some USB devices and we'll see uh, see what we pick up. So this is a self-powered device again. So obviously some devices you plug in and they will need a little bit of extra power to run. Uh, the hard drive there, it's absolutely fine. That's come up saying uh, it's my games drive. So that's come up okay. We'll plug in another USB device. So it's just like a little thumb drive. That's a USB 2 device, and that's come up absolutely fine. And we'll populate it fully and put a USB 3 device in there. And let's go into my computer. And yeah, we're showing all the drives there, no problems at all. And we can run some footage off the, uh, the games drive, which I recorded a little bit earlier on. And it's running absolutely fine. It's installed all the drivers, and it's running as if it was a, um, a native drive. So. All very good, works fantastic. Again, only seven pounds on Amazon, so for that sort of money, it's worth having just as a backup should anything go wrong. Again, if you're a technician, the kind of thing that's really, really handy to have in your toolkit. And talking of toolkits, if you want to check out what is in my toolkit, you can click on the uh, video up here. And this was in our live stream, and I went through what is in my old techie toolkit, which may be of interest to some of you. So there we go, there is the uh, Alzum 3 USB 3.0 and gigabit ethernet adapter. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.